Welcome back. This is part two of building metabolic fitness, targeting your training. Last time we ended with my a series of lactate tests that I had done over a year, and we discussed my first one in August of 2022. And it was a linear profile, meaning as soon as I started increasing effort, my lactate and heart rate were rising. I had a linear profile. Now, in August, I mentioned that I had gotten over uh, a round of COVID that I had, uh, which I had picked up at the end of May. And at the beginning of August, that August, 2022, my wife had been sick. And given that the test was giving me a message that I didn't really want to hear, that I was super unfit, I decided to test again, both bike and run, in September and just have another look. Uh, to get another data point uh, and see where I'm at. So that's this table behind me here. So what we're going to do is shrink me down and we're going to chat about that. So what we have here is there's a run test which kicked off at about 1030 uh, in the morning. And before I did the run test, I did a bike test. And when you're doing submax testing, I like to do bike then run. And I consider the bike test almost like a warm-up uh, for the run test. And both these tests are done with 10-minute steps. And the message I got from these tests is very similar to what I saw in August. And I'm going to chat you through it. It's easier to see on a data table than it is when I put it out in picture form. Uh, so let's just start down with the uh, bike test. So this time I have a bit of a baseline. So my baseline was 1.2 and there's a slight increase when I start going um, in the lactate. You'll see 1.3, 1.3, and then there's a bump, it goes to 1.6. And so that would be the first material increase in lactate. So I would put LT1, so the first lactate threshold before the increase. So that's down around 160. And that felt super easy. And the max heart rate on that step was 106. And the max heart rate on the step above it at 180 watts was 112. So what that tells me if I'm targeting my bike training is that if my heart rate's under 115, then it's okay. And if my power is sort of sitting in that 160 to 180 watt band, that's okay too. Now, I'm uh, when I did that test, I was about 78 kilos. So that's about uh, probably what, uh, 78, let's see, three, it's about low 170s. And uh, I live in a pretty hilly part of the world. And so that means in order for me to stay in that power band, I was doing a lot of riding indoors. Um, because when I went outside, I'd spike heart rate, spike power, and although I wasn't testing lactate outside, I know I'm spiking my lactate. I'm going more intense than I need to for these adaptations that I want to target. So it was lots of indoor riding. And we are going to talk about volume targets in the next series. Uh, what I want to focus here is just helping you dial in your effort and the intensity that you're going to be aiming for. Now, what to avoid? Well, clearly what to avoid is going over 200 watts on the bike because when I hit that, my lactate at the 200 watt step was 1.8, uh, heart rate was 118 max in a 10 minute step. If I was holding that for an hour, we would see much more of a heart rate response. And when I do the step up, I'm in a tempo effort. And what I want you to notice here is it's a tempo effort, but my heart rate max on the steps only 123 beats. And remember, my max is 166. So I'm more than 40 below max. And that is, it, it's still, it's going to feel, it's, it's tempo internally, but it's certainly, I'm not going to be panting. It's just going to feel almost like easy work. I'm, it doesn't even feel like a moderately hard effort. And so it would be really easy for me with my cycling to keep revving into this higher effort. And what I know is every time I rev, my lactate's going to be spiking 
and I'm going to be changing the metabolic nature of the workout. So it's important for me just to suck it up and ride in that 160 to 180 band, which is going to give me an average power for my rides at about 165. And that's going to be tough mentally to be sitting there with your heart rate that low, in a sense. It's more tough on the ego. It's not all that tough physically. Now, the story with my running was even more grim, so to speak. Uh, I had been riding uh, over the previous years using that as my cardio, but I hadn't been running. Uh, I only started running the 1st of July, 2022, and with the help of my coach, Johan, he got me back in the game with the running. And what we see with my run test here, uh, this is mile pace in this column and K pace here. And so that first step, four miles per hour, uh, my baseline was 1.2. I actually go down because I've been doing a lot of walking and hiking. And as you get moving, uh, your metabolism gets a little more efficient, slight drop. But frankly, 0.1 either way, it's a rounding error um, on the equipment. The equipment's not accurate enough uh, to actually put much meaning in those little moves. But as soon as I started to run, pop, the lactate went up 0.6. And that was kind of depressing to see. Because what it means is as soon as I make that transition from the walking movement to the running movement, my lactate spikes. And if you're a new runner and you see this with your lactate test, know that you're not alone. It's just the way it is. And so I don't actually, in this test at this moment, I don't actually have an easy, uh, I don't have the ability to run easy. As soon as I start running, it's steady for me. And very quickly, it transitions to a tempo workout. Uh, when my heart rate's over 120, uh, I'm in a tempo workout. My lactate's over two millimoles. It's uh, one millimole over my baseline, however you define it, uh, either resting baseline or lowest point in the warm up. And as a result, the message was clear. What it, what it was telling me was run as slow as you can run, uh, keep it flat don't spike, and just rack up volume via frequency. So next time, I'm going to show you what this actually implied for my training mix, and I'm going to offer you some tips on how to target your volume. Thanks for listening.